Is it the right time to buy or sell Apple stock? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into Apple. We originally published a report on our website on Friday, January 12, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You won't want to miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by giving our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 a try at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of January 8, 2024, our system has identified Apple as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.58. Now, let's examine how the stock has actually performed during this period. Surprisingly, the stock has outperformed our predictions, with a gain of 0.19%. This means that, on average, the stock has returned 0.04% per day since it was flagged as a sell candidate. The stock is currently in a strong rising trend in the short term, which presents a potential buying opportunity. However, if the lower trend floor at $182.72 is broken, it could signal a slower rate of growth or even a trend shift. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a projected 10.3% change over the next three months, with a potential return ranging between 8.4% and 20.99%. In terms of the 12-month trend, there is a projected 26.59% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging between 19.73% and 37.08%. This means the stock price could range from $222.61 to $254.85 after a year. Our latest update on Apple reveals some interesting news, Green Day on Friday for Apple. On the last trading day, which was Friday, January 12, 2024, the Apple stock price showed a gain of 0.178%. It went up from $185.59 to $185.92. Throughout the day, the stock fluctuated by 0.84%, reaching a low of $185.19 and a high of $186.74. It's worth noting that the price has fallen in 7 out of the last 10 days, resulting in a decrease of minus 3.96% during this period. As for the trading volume, it decreased by minus 8 million shares on the last day. In total, approximately 40 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to $7.45 billion. It's important to consider that when volume falls on higher prices, it may indicate a divergence and could be an early warning sign of potential changes in the upcoming days. Looking back at the past 52 weeks, we observe that the highest price reached was $199.62, while the lowest price was $131.66. At the moment, the current price is 6.86%, or $13.70, below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it stands at 18.55%, or $42.34, below the all-time high recorded on August 30, 2018, when the price peaked at $228.26. In this video, we'll be discussing recent analyst ratings for Apple Inc. AAPL. On Tuesday, January 9, 2024, Bank of America Securities gave Apple a neutral grade with a hold action. On Monday, December 18, 2023, Wedbush gave Apple an outperform grade with a hold action. On Thursday, December 14, 2023, KeyBank gave Apple a sector weight grade with a hold action. Also on Thursday, December 14, 2023, Citigroup gave Apple a buy grade with a hold action. And on Friday, November 24, 2023, Wedbush once again gave Apple an outperform grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Apple stock a general rating of strong buy. They have also rated the P-E ratio as strong buy and the price to book as strong buy. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. Let's talk about the signals for Apple stock. 
Despite gaining prices, the volume fell during the last trading day. This indicates a divergence between volume and price, which could be an early warning sign. It's important to keep a close eye on this stock. We also have some negative signals that may impact its short-term development. The short-term moving average suggests a buy signal for Apple stock. However, the long-term average gives a general sell signal. This means that the stock is likely to have a more negative forecast. If the stock continues to rise, it will face resistance from the long-term moving average at $191.10. On the other hand, if it falls, there will be some support from the short-term average at $184.50. If the stock breaks above the long-term average, it will give another buy signal. Conversely, if it falls below the short-term average, it will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. We also have a sell signal from a pivot top point on Thursday, December 14, 2023. Since then, the stock has fallen by minus 6.15%. This suggests a further fall until a new bottom pivot is found. Additionally, there is currently a sell signal from the 3-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence MACD. Are you curious about other signals that can help you make informed investment decisions? Well, here are some interesting ones. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence, which is currently indicating a sell signal. Next, we have the pivots, showing a sell signal 20 days ago. On the other hand, the Bollinger Bands are pointing towards a buy signal 6 days ago. If we consider the short-term moving average, it gave a buy signal 4 days ago. However, the long-term moving average is indicating a sell signal 10 days ago. It's also worth noting the relation between the short and long moving averages, which provided a buy signal 9 days ago. Now, let's shift our focus to the 12-month chart. According to it, the short moving average showed a sell signal 14 days ago. Conversely, the long-term moving average gave a buy signal 6 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages also indicated a buy signal 35 days ago. If you're hungry for more signals, make sure to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's talk about the support, risk, and stop loss for Apple. Apple has found support from accumulated volume at $185.64. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as we can expect an upwards reaction when the support is being tested. The stock shows average movements throughout the day, and with good trading volume, the risk is considered medium. In the last day, the stock had a price range of $1.55, or 0.84%, between its high and low points. Over the past week, the daily average volatility of the stock has been 1.53%. Before we jump into discussing the potential trading levels for Apple, let's first go over some key fundamental data. One important metric to consider is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. Apple's P-E ratio falls within a normal range, which is often seen in businesses with established track records or consistent revenues. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Apple's fourth quarter of 2023 is scheduled for February 1, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report are at $2.08. It's important to keep an eye on these figures as they can significantly impact the stock prices. Today, let's dive into potential day trading levels for Apple. If the stock shows an upward trend, keep an eye on the first resistance level at $197.57. If you're not already invested, it might be wise to wait until this level is surpassed before considering a position. For those who already own Apple shares, this could be a valuable level to consider for swing trading. On the other hand, if the stock experiences a downward movement, the first support level to watch is at $185.64. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point with the potential for a rebound. The consensus among multiple analyst sources is that Apple is rated as a strong buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On November 29, 2023, Condo Christ sold 5,513 shares of common stock. On November 16, 2023, Adams Catherine L. sold 123,448 shares of common stock.
On November 16, 2023, Adams Catherine L. bought 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 17, 2023, Adams Catherine L. sold 123,448 shares of common stock. On November 10, 2023, Condo Christ sold 4,806 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative, with a ratio of minus 21.828. In the past 100 trades, insiders purchased 2,434,113 shares and sold 4,040,792 shares in total. We have evaluated this stock and unfortunately, our assessment is negative. It is important to note that no stop loss has been set for this stock. Is Apple stock a good buy? Despite a positive trend, the Apple stock currently holds several negative signals, leading us to believe that it will perform weekly in the upcoming days or weeks. Therefore, we have a negative evaluation of this stock. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the stock on the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is undervalued. When trading begins on Tuesday, January 16, we expect Apple to open up at $0.0300 and start trading at $185.95. Before we delve into the world of trading, it's crucial to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. We strongly advise you to consult a financial advisor before making any decisions to buy or sell securities. It's important to note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and assume responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to share our current view on this stock. We would love to hear your thoughts, so don't forget to comment below. What target do you have for this stock? Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more trading insights. Wishing you successful trading and a beautiful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.